Good morning. <laughs> Ed's laughing because I appear to have sat on my glasses and they seem to, <laughs> it seems to have gone slightly skew off. Money penny. Slightly skew off. Well, we went to Blackpool last night and I have to say, without wishing to offend anybody who may live in Blackpool, <laughs> wasn't that good really. <laughs> in fact, it was pretty crap. The, um, the lights weren't on. Well, not any significant lights like the tower and the pier. Um, so it was a bit like a, I don't know. It was a bit like a little Christmas tree, I guess. Very poor. So we uh, had a bit of a ride around for an hour, came back and uh, sacked it. So um, we're now on the morning of day three. And we're just debating going back to said dreary town. To see if it's any better for sun with, with light on it which I suspect it isn't because you can probably hear the rain on the van um, or we're going to wait a little bit later and go and do St Mary's Shell which I know has been done by loads of people but um, we're going to go and have a go at that because it's not too far away so we'll get our stuff together and we'll head down there and we'll see where we end up next right we're back on the beach quite a calm morning actually quite nice and look at this let me turn around boom the lights are on and the wheel they were on last night it was nice and dark so we're trying to find some pools or puddles where we can get that reflected with the tower as sunrise comes that's the plan so we're going to go and have a look over here there's a nice big puddle maybe a nice reflection I'll come back to you in a minute right so we've got this puddle excuse the refuse collection and we've got the tripod down real low Got it all splayed and yeah it looks quite nice sort of a blue hour shot with the uh, lines of the steps tower reflected and the lights reflected uh, all in this puddle it looks quite good yeah pretty cool okay I'm just gonna go down to the uh, the shoreline now shot a few reflections there uh, and see if I can shoot a couple sort of along the wave line and I think the trick here is to try and get the wave line pointing towards your composition so towards the tower so I'm probably gonna have a few goals at this trying to trying to um, line up the waves as they come in try to get a bit of reflections in the wet water and then hopefully pointing at the composition so I'll show you what I'm trying to do and then I'll see if I can actually pull it off Right, so I need, I need a fast enough shutter speed, really, so that I can control exactly where the line is. So I'm up in the ISO a bit, and I'm coming down to F8 to try and get a reasonably fast shutter speed so I can get this lined up. So here we go. Waves coming in. There, so you get a nice line through the shot bit of a reflection of the uh, tower so I'll have a few goals at this and I'll put up the best Right, I've moved along a bit now and I'm just um, alongside these steps and the waves, the tide's coming in now and you can see how the waves are crashing along these steps and they cause quite a nice leading line up to the tower and the lit up um, wheel. Aid's along there which is a bit annoying because he's right in my composition but he was there first so I'll have to leave him. Um, so I'm just watching these waves coming in, trying to time it to get some nice crash light out perfect long enough shutter speed just to catch that water movement and then hopefully a nice leading line with this curve of the beach uh, round to the tower oh that was a big one right so let's see how we get on with this
Right, we finished in Blackpool and we're now heading up to St Mary's Shell. Shell in the water. It's photographed a lot. Uh, it's a very dull grey day, it might not be brilliant, but um, yeah, we're going to head up there and have a look at that and see what it looks like. So I'll see you up there next. Hi, well, here we are. There it is behind me. Mary's Shell. I thought it was St Mary's Shell, but apparently it's Mary's Shell. Um, a bit of a sea sculpture and um, the tide is going out uh, you see it down behind us here so it's really difficult to get some of the unique here because everybody shoots it basically the same long exposure maybe a bit of movement around it as it goes out in they're all pre pretty similar really but it's hard to come up with something different it's got a bit of texture in the sky it might be able to do a long exposure I don't know and get the cloud movement over the top potentially but you can tell I'm not getting too excited about it anyway we'll get set up we're here what else are we gonna do okay just about finished here this is the actual shell a bit closer up and uh, now the water's the tide's gone out past it have a look that's quite nifty um, I spent more time actually shooting the posts over there with the with the um, it's like a breakwater. I actually preferred that than the shell. Um, shot here a couple of times and find it a bit difficult to get motivated to shoot again, to be honest. But uh, hey ho, I've posted a couple and um, hopefully the ones with the uh, wooden boards will be better, I think. many swans in a field. Oh my giddy hand. There's like about 25 squillion. Well here we are, just arrived at Plover Scar and look how bright it is behind me. The sun is bursting through. So we're gonna have a chance, there's some lovely sun rays over there but uh, we've got about a 15 minute walk down to the lighthouse according to Aids Nesmith rule of navigation. So we're gonna get down there toot sweet Hope the water's at a decent level to catch some of these sun rays behind it. Let's crack on, quick, get a move on. I'm trying to make ground because the light over here is superb. And you can just see the light over here is pretty good as well. Above the Heeshan power station. And you can just see the top of the lighthouse starting to come into view. It is still in the water. So, I'm trying to make a bit of ground. I might have a drone deployment actually and see if I can... Uh, Get it on the other side of the lighthouse with the uh, sun rays behind it. Talking proper boomer. Look at that sky. Awesome.
here on the way back um, from the lighthouse because um, there's actually a clear skies forecast tonight. You can see it's starting to clear over. Forecast clear skies between 7 and 10. So we're thinking about this as a potential Milky Way option. We're only about five minutes uh, up the beach from here. So we're just going to try a bit of photo pills and have a look. But it's lovely. Little castle building with this uh, cross on the top. Yeah, it might be really nice with the Milky Way behind it. So, we'll have a look. Right, we've just had a look on photo pills. And by our calculation, at half seven tonight, the Milky Way should be sat smack bang over the middle of this cross. Straight up there, vertically. Which is handy, because it's right in the middle of this little castle building. So it should be quite a cool shot. It just looks like clear skies that way. So hopefully, we'll go back and get some tea. Two hours. There we are, hang on. Clear skies shown on the on the app. So yeah, there's a chance of this. Um, we'll go back and get some tea, and we'll maybe be back in a couple of hours. Look at this, how romantic is this, eh? <laughs> Oh, God, man. They're like a married couple, we are. Me and Ed. Glass of wine. Bit of Spanish chicken. Garlic bread, a bit of rice. And then we're going out to shoot the Milky Way. Does it get any better than this? Oh, 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 oh. Tasty. Right, after our lovely uh, meal for two, very romantic, I put smooth radio on just to increase the ambience, you know, when we're having our meal. It's lovely. You know what I'm saying? Any part in the storm. Um, we've just had a look outside and it does look like um, fairly Oh, that's right, just put the tap on while I'm trying to talk. Got listeners on it, you know. Subscribers who are trying to listen to what I'm saying. Waiting on my every breath. Hardly. Um, it does look like the um, clear skies are where we need them. So we're going to leave the pots for later. Nip down there. Crack a couple of shots off. Then come back for some ginger sponge and custard. Sounds like a perfect night, really. Nice. Nice. We'll see you down there. I'm not sure the video will be brilliant, but I'll try and do a bit of head torch to talking and whatever and see how we're getting on. And hopefully we'll get a nice Milky Way shot. Okay, we're down here now and uh, the clouds come in quite a bit actually. It was fairly clear when we set off, but there's clouds whizzing over, but um, I'm not sure how clear it's going to stay. So it's quite a neat shot. But whether we're going to get a clear Milky Way shot, I'm not 100% sure. It might have some clouds in it, but um, we'll try our best, as we say, and uh, we'll see how we get on. A mouse, field mouse. I'll try not to frighten it too much. Here's what we're looking at. Here's the shot. There's that uh, castle we saw before, um, and clouds up above it so uh, yeah it's not great really but um, we'll see how we get on uh, we'll try our best his aid set up with his nice squeaky one out over there didn't they? I didn't realise that <laughs> just trying to, trying to work out what my hat looks like <laughs> this head torch anyway as we were sat here waiting I thought I'd just have a quick look on the apps uh, to see where the International Space Station was and <laughs> We have had some top luck on this trip, I tell you. We've fallen absolutely perfect for everything we've come up to so far. And when I checked on the app, the International Space Station was due to come over what we were shooting exactly the time we planned to be here at 7 o'clock. So we're set up at the minute, hoping to get the ISS coming over the top of this scene with the Milky Way. Now, it's a very quick pass, so it'll probably appear really as just a, like a small meteor probably um, so it won't be massive but uh, quite cool to get the ISS Milky Way into your composition so hopefully if it all goes according to plan you'll see that shot now Day three. Um, still at Plover Scar. Stopped there over. Stopped uh, here overnight. So uh, just had a look out and reported some semi-favourable conditions. So well, he's on. Back to the lighthouse for sunrise and see if there's uh, see if we get anything different. Right, we're back. 
and you can see uh, behind me I've got a little time lapse set up running because this is now a race against time. The tide is about to come over a ridge by this lighthouse here and we're about, we're still about 35, 40 minutes away from sunrise. So we've got no colour at the minute and it's going to be a real question about whether we have to retreat as the tide comes in or whether we manage to get a real nice sunrise just with the water in the right place. You can see there's some nice pools behind me here with this um, lighthouse reflected. So, you know, we'll see what we come up with, but uh, yeah, it is a definite race against time. Unfortunately, the sunrise never materialized and I was left with doing a two minute long exposure to show the clouds going over the top. And I thought this was the end of our tip trip until this happened. Look what we found. Oh my God, there's a fish. We just found a fish on the beach. And its mouth's still moving. Ah! Right, I'm gonna have to try and do me a bit for, this could end very badly. Right, I've got it. Shit, slippy, ah, box. I dropped it. It's a place. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. <clears throat> well, that was good news. I had to retreat, but I saw it swimming off. I don't know how long that could have been sat there. It must have been uh, in the pools or something. It just uh, flapped itself to there. It was a place. Put it back in and off it went. Bizarre.